and some I learned a little bit watching a lot of YouTube videos too about advice about how to get more you know watch time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a video of give y'all some advice about how I got more watch time. I got about 1.6k watch time. Help my views with my videos and how I grow. Some videos would work and some videos didn't work that well, kind of. But that's what I'm gonna do to give y'all some advice on it and ways that to help it and also to watch out things that you to you don't mess up. Before we get started, I'm just say like this video. If you want to see this, just like it. And also subscribe and press the bell notification. And so let's get to the video. Some stuff down that I want to tell you that I kind of thought of that I kind of figured out. And some I learned a little bit watching a lot of YouTube videos too about advice about how to get more, you know, watch time on your video. I try to post every single week, every week, because I think. That's the only way for you to, you know, get to give you more views. But ways that so you can get more views, I might say is that to make your efforts really good in your videos, make your videos really good. I probably another thing sometimes you might not get more views if you not talk up loud in your views, in your videos, I mean. So it's ways that you should do to do that is that to I heard a lot of people that I need to talk up a little more loud, but I don't have no mic. I don't have no money to get no mic for my iPad or my iPhone. I don't have one, so that's the only way for me to use my iPad. I try to speak up loud in my videos, and I just don't have one of my thing. You do have an iPad like I do. Um, just try to speak up loud like in your videos. That's the only way for you to get more because I know that sometimes the camera will do that too into with this. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but it, it, I would give you advice on that to do that. But post every single week. Post. If you're busy a lot, try to schedule days that you can post videos, you can't, days that you can film, and also date the date that you're supposed to post it. Just kind of like, you know, if you make a video on Sunday or Monday and post it the day that your, your day that you really originally post, like on Wednesday, just do like that and edit your videos and take your time editing your videos so you don't mess up into it. So, your video, so people can come back and watch your video again and again and also make good things into your videos. I kind of figure out how I got like more views I mean, into this one video I did. Uh, I did a video saying about let's support small YouTubers. It's like a shout out video. A lot of a lot of them, many times. I think I hit about probably about four times. I did a video about like um, I thought it was not gonna work on me, but it had works on me. But I don't got like a lot of like you know I don't have a thousand views. I had like I think I have two hundred close to three hundred. It helps. It works. Um, I might say just like a lot of people will comment. I'm gonna say a lot of people will comment into your videos and say shout outs like I mean come and watch, you know, um subscribing to the channel and stuff. So but still do that. That's the only way for you to kinda that would kinda help too because if you wanna go watch that, you can go watch that. Other ways that I kinda figure out how I got more views for into this twenty twenty in the, in this and also to part of two thousand nineteen. So it was into that video and also another video that I had did from that I think last year and i had got more views on there i had got a thousand my intro my it's like my trader kind of but a thousand because people kept coming back and watching that video of i did a um a video of washing my hair i think i did using seven eight and also shampoos and deep deep condition and so i kind of figure out how i um got more more views on that my video kind of short a little bit i try not to make my videos too long sometimes because i don't want to do it like every single week i try not to do that that i want to know because i don't want to do that like every single week sometimes i might do it or sometimes I do. sometimes you get people who will like reaction videos and into a lot of that i would say that i think that would kind of help too if you make your your reactions really fun into it really good um i think and also into like also your thumbnail to compare it to your videos into your thumbnails um i think that's what you have to do so you don't like get you know views confused of that if i'm okay your days and times like days and times like times and days to post your video i look up on youtube not youtube on google you see on, on the screen over there that I look at, I look up that it says that you can like post on you like Mondays, Mondays, when, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, like in the morning, like at nine, nine, you can 
post between 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Thursday and Friday, you could post afternoon, like 12 to 4 or, you know, between them. That you could, Sunday and Saturday, uh, they said Sunday and Saturday gets, gives you the most views. I think Monday, 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 Tuesday, and Wednesday is really you can post at the nighttime. I think, like, it says that nighttime you can post. I think you can post in the morning or nighttime. They said sometimes nighttime, like, probably I would say four to nine, will give you more views. Uh, we give you more views and stuff. They because you know people like to you know sleep at nighttime when they come home from a little bit. Sometimes it do help with me. Sometimes sometimes it don't help that well. I don't know if because the video is not that good or I don't know if you try your best to edit your videos or do your videos really good. Just just keep making videos. Just keep. Just don't care. You gonna get it. You gonna get it. Cause I was like that. I I was terrible. Uh, my videos first beginning editing. I learned a little bit about it and. So it's gonna take time trying to like you know especially the days that you post it so sunday and saturday i really i say post they say post like in the morning like 10 in the morning like 9 to 10 in the morning between them and you make it really interesting for people to come back and watch your video and they want to see more like the content that you're doing just kind of keep doing the same content that you're doing that you love to do that you want i might say schedule your days like the time that you want to and i might tell you don't tell your views or new subscribers that this the day you post because if you use a device an ipad iphone and you know your icloud messing up you gotta take your time you know editing and stuff so i might tell y'all is that just don't tell them yet until you can tell them when you are you know you used to that time that day i mean and also can like do your videos like weekends if you can't do it through the week you can do it on the weekend film on the weekend or like you know on a friday or film on a friday and post it like on saturday or sunday that's the days that you can like edit it get time when you edit it and post it and get the news keep looking at your watch time every month because i think um you have to do it every month sometimes but try to keep watch looking at it going back and see how it grows but don't get too much attached to it too much because you don't want to do that because i Especially if you know subscribers, you don't want to get attached to that. I heard it says that you can use long keywords. Some will put it in the description box, but I don't really do that. I kind of used to do it, but I don't really. I think I think it had worked in some of my videos. I think it had. Um, also, I use, I'm going to tell you, I use hashtags into my, in my description box. When I kind of do that. I use hashtags because hashtags is really good to use to kind of help you grow your views of, the, of what type of video you're doing. Probably I would say use hashtags, so do that. I think that'd be really great. Also, the thumbnail. I already said that about that, but the thumbnail, I might tell y'all. You do got to make your thumbnail really good in the title. Um, some people would not put the title of the video. Some would do. Some people like without the title. Sometimes I used to do that stuff like that, but that's just kind of probably like vlogging part. But I might say use your titles in your videos because I think... It might not work if you don't put titles in your thumbnails. Make your thumbnails really interesting um, to compare it as into your video. I'm learning a lot of it about doing thumbnails and um, how to like make my, you know, make my videos to make interesting into the video. I try to do that very best in my thumbnails. I try to, you know, especially like you're trying to get a good picture. That's only if it's the hardest, the hardest thing about that, trying to get a good quality thumbnail picture. <laughs> That's the struggle like that, especially you using an iPad. And it's really great to kind of would do that. So I would say to let y'all know that to kind of with that. So yeah. But um, I think that's it because I didn't want nothing else down. I might probably if y'all want me to do a part two about something else of about the watch time, I might probably will. I'm gonna wait about probably a month or a year probably. I don't know my time change of my of that. But uh, I'll probably tell y'all another thing that I'm going to let y'all know what apps that I use. I think I already told a video about this. For my thumbnails, I might say I use um, privacy of the names, pictures. I remember I used PicMonkey. Now I got an app for that, but I used to use PicMonkey when I had a lot of time I had. Pick art is really good to use thumbnails. Another one is Star C. Um, I think that one's kind of that one's really good too. There's another one. I'm trying to think of some other apps. Some use a uh, uh, Fonto uh, Fonto too. That one and um, 
for me editing my videos i use iMovie on my phone i don't use it on my ipad i might say sometimes i might use it on my ipad i use cutcut and kitmaster um i know i was using video shop that was that one too um in my videos but i didn't really use it anymore like i use cute cute cut most sometimes and also um kitmaster but i just want to let y'all know about this of that and um go watch my all my last videos from the beginning of this year to the other month i mean and but y'all and girl this if y'all want me to do more like this i will be sometimes we'll do a lot of videos into like it's kind of like tech video kind of but i would do sometimes we'll do more videos like this because i know i kind of learned a little bit from being on youtube for since 2013 so if you want more about videos like this just thumbs up on this video give me likes 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 and share this video and so subscribe and press the bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat when I'm not on here. Just follow me on my social media and do it. And also TikTok too. And follow me on that. So, so I'll see y'all soon next week. And so yeah, see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. Okay, I might need to take this off because I might get kind of hot in this. Hot and I am in my belly. So yeah. My lips are chopping.